Hey everyone, it's Tom Crowds with another Rockstar Minute, and these are the five things you should know about mortgage brokers versus using banks to get mortgages in Canada. The first thing is, Mortgage brokers can get you the best interest rates. Many Canadians think you have to go to a bank or a bank branch to get the best interest rate on your mortgage, either for a rental property or a prim primary place of residence. That's not the case. Mortgage brokers can totally get you the best interest rate out there when it comes to getting mortgages. The second thing is you don't pay them. You don't pay mortgage brokers. The banks pay mortgage brokers. So they're technically free to use when it comes to residential mortgages. When it's a commercial mortgage or a big apartment building mortgage, the, they, they do have fees, but when it comes to residential mortgages, they are free to use. The third thing is they have access to something called monoline lenders. And this is why that's important. Most Canadians think you have to go to a bank branch or a bank to get a mortgage, um, but that's not the only options in Canada. There are monoline lenders, and these are lenders that don't have bank branches. And the only way to access mortgages from these companies are going through a mortgage broker. And because that's the case, mortgage brokers can strategize with you, especially if you're an investor, they'll sit down with you and say, hey, here's what the monoline lenders are offering, here's what the banks are offering, let's come up with a plan on how to get you your rental property. So it's good for strategizing to go to mortgage brokers. The fourth, th fourth thing is they don't have access to all the banks. So mortgage brokers have access to banks right now like Bank of Nova Scotia and TD and that kind of stuff, but they don't have access to banks like Royal Bank who's taking their mortgage business in-house and they handle it directly themselves. And that's important to know because some banks like Royal Bank are really good with student rental properties and they're really good at closing mortgages in corporation names. So if you're using a corp to buy an investment property, you want to go to certain banks that allow, to, allow you to do that. And that's not always available through mortgage brokers. And the fifth thing is because they work for commissions, mortgage brokers make their money via a commission that they earn from the bank when they get you a mortgage. They hustle a lot better than bankers do from my experience. So if you need something fast or you want someone to really work on your behalf, from my experience, because they're working for a commission, they're really going to hustle and serve you really well. So from our experience, mortgage brokers have been really good to use. So hopefully that gives you some information something to think about. Until next time, your life, your terms.